And to be honest, they are so expressive. They include their mother in everything. They know it's okay to, to talk about their mother. She's part of them still. And if you ever met them, you'd actually think they lost their mother. How is that even possible? Coming up on three years in June, so two and a half years in, I wouldn't have been where I am now and as strong as I am, and they wouldn't have been here, I don't believe, without the support that we've been given. And Dr. J's played a huge role in that. I can't thank it enough, to be honest. <laughs> it was a very sad and um, unforeseen event, and Jason um, sought out service for his two little boys to have a safe space and to talk about all the things um, they were thinking about and feeling. We're helping keeping families together. We're helping families deal with with this crisis that's usually one of the worst times of their life. We are a small, still somewhat grassroots, um, community-based organization that has a really full reach. So what we are able to do with a small amount of funding um, is phenomenal. Uh, the numbers of clients that we provide support to every year um, and, and the ripple effect of that, so supporting one child, one parent, how that impacts the larger family system, how that impacts the school, how that impacts the community, how that impacts society at a larger level. These ripple effects, that's the work of the center. It allowed both the children to open up a bit more um, about the death. It wasn't uh, a taboo topic. Um, it allowed us to talk openly and freely. I think it brought us closer together. Um, whenever there was questions, if I didn't have the answers, we knew who to go to. We can go to Dr. J's, we could speak to Lisa and get the answers. Um, specifically, like thinking about Arianne's project on uh, suicide prevention and awareness. And awareness. Yes. We went in first step. Where did we go? Dr. J. Yes. The opportunity that we provide is to say children's grief is a thing. It's important. Kids experience not necessarily the same um, feelings that adults have in exactly the same ways, but certainly as important, as intense, as relevant, as life-changing as adults have, and they deserve all of the same supports and opportunities to make sense of their experience that adults do. When there has been opportunity for open and honest conversation, kids can look to their caregivers and say, hey, like, even when the going got tough, they told me or they included me even those, those were hard conversations to have. They believed that I was capable of hearing that hard news and they didn't try to shield me from that and supported me and provided me with the support so that I could figure out what this is going to mean for me. Even though it may seem like the world is against you in difficult times, there are people out there that want to help, like Dr. J's, and they want to put on these things for people to grow and heal together and not feel alone. All of the feelings that we experience here are okay to have and I think that most often people think coming for, for grief counseling or to talk about you know their special person will only mean focusing on the sad moments and I want them to know that there's joy in it too and it's about reconnecting with that joy and so we don't just have sad moments here we have a lot of fun. I lost my dad when I was 12 to stage 4 lung cancer. For a very long time, I battled depression. I didn't know how to cope. I simply didn't want to be alive. When I thought that there was nothing left for me, my social worker introduced me to the Dr. J's Children's Grief Center. Through one of their programs, it was at Camp Aaron. For the very first time, I met other kids like me. My time with the center has completely turned my life around. These kids are dealing with this loss and we provide counseling and support and programming for them. And we don't have any funding right from the government. We don't charge for our services. And uh, it's, we like, I mean, it's a very needed service. We have, unfortunately, a wait list. And we just want a couple additional special thank yous. Thank you so much to Jay's Care for hosting us here tonight. And above all else, you know, really thank you for being here, being part of this community and our volunteers and staff who've 
worked so hard to make this all happen. Death is something that touches everybody. And yet it's the one thing that not everybody wants to talk about. And we do that here. We talk about death. It's hard, it's tricky. And I think that this work needs to be funded. It needs to be recognized and needs stability. There's people out there that, that should be helped. Anybody that's grieving should have the opportunity for our services. I don't want to use the word um, healing because I think healing suggests you know, a return to the original state. And we know anyone who's experienced grief knows that that's not possible, but it's part of a process um, of learning, of resilience, that, that growth being a part of seeing what is possible when support is available. Um, being, a, being a piece of that is, is an amazing thing and I'm grateful for that opportunity every day.